These are the woods that held the key to an eight year mystery finally unlocked by the killer himself. Doug Stewart wanted some privileges in prison, but investigators think he also felt pressure from the relationship that's blossomed in the past year between his side of the family and that of the woman he murdered. And I think that along with um, knowing that, you know, his daughters wanted to know where their mom was at. Uh, that's a pretty heavy weight to bear. But nothing like the weight of not knowing. Venus's dad died last year, robbed of any closure if there's such a thing. Police say the rest of her family is relieved by the discovery of her remains, but also reliving the immense grief. They knew this day was coming, and, and now that it's here, it's, it kind of takes them right back to that day again. Venus and her two daughters, four and six at the time of her disappearance, had moved back home to her parents' house from Virginia. On that April morning in 2010, Doug Stewart abducted Venus as she walked to the mailbox. He buried her body here in a remote area he knew because his father had a logging company and cut wood here. Stewart had little trouble directing police to the spot where he buried his wife. A specific piece of evidence from the original case was this blue tarp um, and um, he had advised us that that was going to be inside um, the grave as well and we located that. Um, so that's what first led us to believe, yep, we're in the right spot here, we just have to keep going and we're going to find her.